that could be worthwhile. You guys see already that the panic management in the second month is a real thing. We've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time. Though. Good. Let's go for the medium U4. That's some good cash, which we could now uh, gather. And that's the reason, kids, why you always want to have two interceptors at the second month. And except this guy is now the total douchebag, he will kill the UFO. We're in pursuit. Wow. Wow. That was borderline douchebag. Uh, that was a borderline douchebag, for sure. Okay. Still four more days gravely wounded. Oh my god. The support. She's missing all the fun. I guess then this is the team that we want to take. Like this, the standard setup. Two, uh, two snipers, two heavies and uh, two uh, assaults. Let's switch it up a little bit the posi uh, and optimize our strategy. These two We'll start in the first positions, including this guy. So one, three, and four, and the other three are going to start nearer to the uh, to the Sky Ranger. So I guess that's uh, the better layout. Right here we go. Launch mission. Let's go. Dropship has arrived. Begin the assault. France is sending an urgent mission request. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area. Okay, medium UFO. That means three patrols plus uh, the uh, the uh, outsider. We do have a quite open field here, and as you know, we don't like quite open fields. Um, they are usually bad news for us. Let's advance into full cover, and then slowly take it from here. Yes, Commander. We do have a squad side sniper, and one sniper which unfortunately has no squad side so far. So the squad side sniper will be moved here. And just to make sure that we are fine on this uh, side of the map, because this is where we want to go now. I want to take this um, this piece of wood, this forest here, and advance over the left hand side. There is plenty of full cover here, and I usually like this route a little bit more than the other one. Um, so let's build up a tight forma uh, formation here, moving, moving the gra uh, the guys with the rockets last, of course. Okay, so that was the sound of floaters. Not the worst, but certainly also not the best news. I like sectoids, by the way, dear game. So if you ever consider giving me some more opponents, how about just bringing in sectoids? Because at this moment in time, they feel like well-matched foes. I don't need the thin men floater type of game. I'm fully okay with this. Good. So up front there is going to be the potential for a contact. Again we are going to ignore melt. We have more than enough melt at the moment. We do not even have a gene lab, so at the moment in time, we we are okay. We don't need more. 
Now this would be an aggressive move. Let's instead get everyone up to here first. Because I'm, I'm, I think the floaters are going to be over there already. Okay, so that's as far as we will go. Copy that. Roll it out. And even if this is half cover, I want to have the full range of the rockets at my disposal. It's, I, I feel more important now than full cover because we haven't triggered anything. Still, we are hearing floaters. There are three packs around, so there should be plenty of options for us to to kill them. Hmm. Sound was coming from here, so maybe they are behind this full cover. Let's move up here. Okay, that hasn't triggered. Will do. Moving to position. Moving out. Headed there now. Good, and our sniper could now advance, in my opinion. Time to motor. Intense. But we should be okay. We have six soldiers now and decent ranks as well. So I guess if we're not like super unlucky, it should be okay. Seekers! Seekers! I like it. I don't want to sell these corpses as well because they offer us pretty pretty nice options for further uh, research. And remember guys when I said this time I'm going to take Battle Scanner first because it's the hard counter against Seekers. This is what's going to happen now. Oh shit, I'm so sorry guys. Have we uncovered your location? Damn. Well, we need to talk a little bit about your ability to aim. Because... Let me try to, uh, to be... Nice here. It sucks. Okay. Whatever. That's going to be our backup, the rocket uh, if needed. We could, no, we could hit them with a grenade, with two grenades to be precise. But the question is do we really want to hit them with grenades if we also have the availability of killing them with a rocket later? Answer is probably not. We don't want to move, that's for sure. I certainly do not want to give them any option to um, to trigger more pots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one with more life, so one grenade could afterwards kill both of them. As always, my plan worked out flawlessly. Good jobs, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Anyways. Let's stop fooling around and instead kill these. Hello to my 
Lieutenant Menzer just earned a promotion. I'm very pleased to hear that, Lieutenant. Alright, so that was pack number one. Let's move up. Hmm, how fortunate, how fortunate. Guys, did you really think that we are going to let you come to our location? This is not working out. Target down. And that's one target down. He's not going to trigger here, that's that's pretty much a given. We could still run back if if you would. Shot failed to connect. You could now be the hero, dear sniper, by just hitting this guy with your rifle, but you've chosen to be in a place where you have no line of sight. Got it. Very unfortunate. I give you a second chance. You could hit him with your pistol. You failed me again. I guess I want to kill them pretty bad. Okay, that's that's not too shabby because you know what? We can now use our shredder rocket in order to finish it off instead of using the fire rocket. You gotta love your heavies, man. You gotta love your heavies. Now it's time to reload. We killed two packs. Um, I have a lot of see uh, seeker um, corpses. That was rather smooth. If you know the how to hard count the seekers, they are not difficult. But you need battle scanners or some sort of approach of how to know where they are like I did it in the last um, playthrough when I was peeling through the uh, through the different tiles to see where they have hidden themselves. What was that? Now that finally sounds like Floater, but I guess I said that already three times and we also uh, always had um, Seekers. One minute AFK, uh, one minute AFK and then we continue. All right, back. Let's -a go. Headed there now. I guess we take a solid move forward without like overdoing it. 
we have absolutely no need to kind of speed too much through it. And we want to keep our heavies in theoretical positions to launch some of the rockets. Okay, let's move up our sniper as well. Because I want to I want her to be able to shoot whenever possible and have decent aiming angles. Okay, we are closing in on the UFO. Copy that. Moving out. Hauling ass. Heading to that location. Moving to position. Good to go. Alright, our sniper has no more uh, battle scanners, that's a little bit of shame, because I would have wanted to use another one. But if it's just floaters, we should be okay. There we are. Three of them, if I'm not mistaken. They aggressively advanced, like always. Question being, why exactly are we not having any line of sight? We could go here and then just like eliminate him. We would be in full cover. I guess that's that's an option. The other option would be to move over here, which is also full cover take two more distance shots. Six damage for a, a rocket of six damage for just one floater. I don't know if that is so valuable. We could move back and let them come a little bit closer. That, that would be an option, but I'm not so particularly keen on receiving shots from, from them. So, if it would be just two, I wouldn't have any issue, but I know that there's a third one behind here. And like going here would mean that he could just fly over here and flank me. So I could go here, mm, could go here. They do have good odds on hitting them. Uh, he also has, I suppose, very good odds on hitting him. Mm. So what we could try to do is, we could try to eliminate this guy with a rocket. I want to kill as much as possible so they do not have an option for a quote-unquote comeback. Uh, you could kill this guy with a rocket, and then we could go in for, for the other guy. Let's think that through first. I mean, by moving around this edge, we could trigger the, the outsider, which I don't want to do. This would be the perfect position, respectively this one here, where he could not even go. But both of these positions would be quite quite good at flanking this uh, this guy. Moving here also flanks this guy, but this he could come up and still shoot at us. However, we are in full cover, so that should account for something. Let's do it as, as proposed. So we kill this guy. And 
take away a little bit of the full cover. That's one less floater to worry about. Furthermore, let's take our run and gun. Move into a decent position. Find out that we are not going to have any line of sight, which sucks. And try to kill this guy, which is good. He could still be on Overwatch, so it's not like we lost anything here. Okay, we want to give the best okay. positions for Overwatch in case that guy um, is going to storm uh, storm at us to the heavy. This here is probably not going to be an Overwatch position. Let's be honest with this as well. And she definitely could be an Overwatch. She's even having opportunists, so that's definitely going to be an Overwatch. That's an Overwatch. And I guess, I mean, that's the best remaining position. Not a good one, but maybe she gets off a pistol shot. All right, it worked out. I like it. Or as Hannibal from the A-Team says, I like it whenever a plan works. Moving. So she is uh, the rocketeer with our last rocket. Got it. Let's just reload and get our guys together. Already there. So that was the last the last pack. Alright, so should be only the outsider left. Got it. Let's try to not immediately trigger him. It's a medium UFO, which means the outsider is going to be... That's the entrance. He's going to be behind here. So we can advance a little bit. Because we know where the where the last opponent is. That's affirmative. Back in. Overwatch. Aye, aye. On Overwatch. Very solid so far. That will be a good salvage of the UFO. We'll we'll get some nice. Elerium and some nice alloys out of it, plus some nice money, because I s as I see it, uh, we will get one intact and one destroyed uh, energy cell, and I think four computers, if I'm not mistaken. Right, and that little something is the remaining outsider. Heading to that location. We'll go. Moving out. That's affirmative. Aye, aye, Commander. Call, call. I am covering now. Alright, although we know where the outsider is, there's always the chance of uh, of another pack of two, because we had uh, two times two seekers, and sometimes you end up with just one additional pack. Or 
what we exactly do not want to do is trigger him right away. That was stupid as shit. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. That was super stupid. Watch the plane down. Anyways. Talking about super stupid, we should take care of him. Run and gun is our friend. I'm relieved to hear our troops came back safely, Commander. Hopefully, perfect danger zone for even more future. explosives. Lightning reflexes and another danger zone. Good job, good job. The only one without a promotion is the sniper again, so I guess she will never reach squad side. Let's go for the grey market. The damage stuff can be sold immediately. Still have a couple of other goodies. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, build. After all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Right, so we want to get the, the other um, excavation done. We need a little bit money for the mech. And we could go for the officer training school and... That is a really, really nice add-on, but it also is a very costly one. Let's save our money for now because none of the upgrades are like super shattering and we might want to go for uh, carapace armor and build some because we now finally got it. I like the skeleton suit and usually I would want to go for it but as it turns out we now need new weapons that is for sure. I just don't understand. Why use such advanced technology against innocent civilians? <laughs> Okay, so one thing that is for sure, we are going to build a couple of these carapace armors. Five to be precise for the beginning. So let's go to the grey market. And even though... Uh, our research is anyway so slow, we are going to get more of them. And having decent armor right now is good enough. The reason for taking only five instead of six is I'm still opting for the mech as the sixth, uh, as the sixth um, member of our team. So I'm trying to do that next. 